Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum. I extend a cordial welcome to all the distinguished participants and the audience present this morning. And we are going to start our program. There is a saying that if you are certain that our faith rests on the sure foundation of reality, we must be content to understand that the failure of others to accept it in no way destroys the truth. Before I introduce the distinguished dignitaries, I would like to enlighten a few points about the organizers of the event, the Madhyama Kendra. In fact, today's is the principal function, which is organized by Madhyama Kendra. Madhyama Kendra is an independent institution founded by concerned citizens with the objective of empowering the community in the sphere of mass media. Established in 1996, the center desires to promote truth and the interest of the society in subtle ways through the existing popular media and also by establishing its own effective means of mass communication. The center has been feeding the regional media in Karnataka with positive materials on various social issues. It frequently organizes both short and long term training camp to impart practical training to youths of the community and the society in the field of media and mass communication. It also holds programs for the masses to make them aware of their desired participation in the field of media and mass communication. The Madhyama Kendra is currently assisting to launch a fair and objective daily newspaper in Kannada language from Mangalore. The president of the Madhyama Kendra is Mr. H. Muhammad Yasin Malpe and he is also the chairman of the Community Media Trust Mangalore. And the Madhyama Kendra is directed by Mr. Abdul Salam Puttige, who is a freelance writer and a noted translator. Now I would like to introduce the chairman for today's function. Mr. Saduddin M. Sali is a senior advocate specializing in labor laws and at present practicing in High Court, Bangalore. He is also involved in a lot of social and welfare activities. And Dr. Zakir Naik, who is going to speak on media and Muslims today, he is just 33 years old and he is the president of Islamic Research Foundation, Bombay. Though a medical doctor by professional training, he has devoted himself to analyze Islam and other religions objectively and spread the real truth. He is an international orator on Islam and comparative religion par excellence. In the last three years, in addition to many talks in India, he has delivered more than 160 public speeches abroad, including United States of America, Canada, United Kingdom, South Africa, Malaysia, Singapore, Saudi Arabia, Sri Lanka, Bahrain, Kuwait. He is acclaimed widely for his logical, reasonable and scientific approach towards his subject. He is appreciated for his comparative knowledge of Hinduism, Judaism, Christianity and Islam, especially for the verbatim quotations from the religious scriptures. Media has got a great role in formulating the opinion of the masses and the media should reflect the social activities. But it has not significantly helped to project the minorities and the downtrodden. And about all these materials, I would like Dr. Zakir Naik to dwell on this issue. I call upon Dr. Zakir Naik to start his deliberations. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam. Wa ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sabi ajmain. Amma baad. Auz billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ikra. Bismi rabbika al-lazi khalaq. Khalaq al-insana min alaq. Ikra wa rabbuka al-akram. Al-lazi allama bil-kalam. Allama al-insana ma alam yalam. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Rabbi shuhali sadri. Wa yassir li amri. Wa ahlu al-ugdata min lisani yafkahu kawli. The Chairperson, Mr. Saleh, my respected elders, and my brothers and sisters. I welcome all of you with Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. May peace, blessings, and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of you. The topic of this morning's talk is media and Muslims. Media is defined as the means for mass communication. And media can be classified under two categories. 
electronic media and non-electronic media, which can further be divided into periodical and non-periodical. First, let us analyze what is the non-electronic media. Non-electronic media is a media which consists of literature and written materials, mainly. It's divided into periodical and non-periodical. Non-periodical, non-electronic media is the literature, the written works, which are published, which occur, which appear on non-regular basis. For example, we have pamphlets, we have booklets, books, etc. The periodical non-electronic media is the literature or written works which come at regular intervals. It's published, it appears, it occurs at regular intervals. For example, the annual, biannual or quarterly periodicals and magazines. We have monthly, fortnightly, weekly periodicals and magazine. And we also have the daily or the morning and evening newspapers. The electronic media, again, can be divided into periodical and non-periodical. The non-periodical, which consists of audio, it consists of video, it consists of computers, of internet, etc., which are further divided into various subheadings of periodical and non-periodical. In the audio, we have audio cassettes. We also have compact disc, audio compact disc. In the video, we have films, we have documentary programs, etc. And in the computer, we have diskets, we have CD-ROMs, which consist of material. And in the periodical electronic media, we have bulletins, news, as well as regular programs, which consist of audio and video both, which comes and is relayed and broadcast on the radio, on the cable TV, on the television, on the satellite, as well as on internet. Today's scientific research has shown us that the retention power of different types of media it keeps on differing. When you read any material, on an average, the retention is 10%. When you hear something, the retention is 20%. When you only see something, that's visual aids, the retention is 30%. And when you hear and see simultaneously, that's on video or when you see a live talk or lecture, the retention is 50%. Our research has been done. Therefore, the best and the maximum retention that's there when any person spends time is when he utilizes all three of his senses besides seeing, hearing, and understanding. All three are utilized simultaneously. If you analyze amongst these medias, those which are non-periodical medias, their reach is limited. And the influence on the people is limited as compared to the periodical media. The non-periodical media like booklets, pamphlets, or maybe books, audio cassette, video cassette, they have a limited reach. Because when anyone publishes a book, he publishes in a quantity of maybe 1,000, maybe 2,000, maybe 5,000, maybe 10,000. Sometimes the book is more popular, it may go in larger numbers of 100,000 or maybe more. But normally it's in tens of thousands. It's limited. If you compare the periodical media, like what you hear on the radio, on the television, what you read in the newspapers, etc., this has a wider reach. As we know, the newspapers are published in tens of thousands. Several newspapers in hundreds of thousands, in lakhs, some even in millions. 
and it's on a daily basis. And more shorter the interval, more regular the periodical, better is the impact, better is the influence on the mass. And the periodical media influences the mass on the day-to-day -day 